Hey guys, welcome back to the annual Manga Tube Secret Santa. I believe this is the third year that we're doing it now, and this year I am buying for Manga Man Chris. And first of all, shout out to Prof Otaku for reaching out to me, asking me to help him out um, setting this all up. We, we, we did it last year as well, and we're doing it this year, and hopefully we will continue to do it in the following years. But um, if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have gone out myself to try to get people to do this again. Um, but we did get a good amount of people and it should be a lot of fun. So I hope everybody that's participating is having fun with this challenge. I know me, myself, I've been very busy and I am having to do last minute shopping for Chris. Um, I didn't have time during the uh, Black Friday sales, so I didn't buy anything then. And my last resort right now is just coming to a Books Kino Kunia because Prof did ask everybody to uh, buy stuff and ship everything out this week. This is the second week of December. So yeah, we're gonna go to Books Kino Kunia. The main thing that I wanna find is Konosuba because Chris did mention he wanted to get that. I did check on Crunchyroll and they didn't have volume one, unfortunately. So that's why I'm coming here. Um, and I'm also coming to Books Kino Kunia as opposed to a Barnes and Noble or a, a Books A Million because um, I did have a fellow friend on disc, my Discord that asked me uh, to see if I could buy her something from Books Kino Kunia. I believe she is from Norway, so I'm gonna have to ship it to her. Um, so I decided, you know what, instead of going to one of those shops, we'll just come to a Books Kino Kunia. Uh, we'll see if we can find it here. If not, I may have to go to a Barnes and Noble or a Books, Bam, Books a Million, some, maybe tomorrow. Um, but for today, we're at Books Kino Kunia. We'll see what other little trinkets and merch type items we can find. He did say he likes stickers. He likes Konosuba, he likes sci-fi, he loves Ghost in the Shell. So we're gonna be looking out for those type of things. And yeah, let's let's go ahead and see what we can find here at Books Kino Kunia. I will catch you guys inside. All right guys, so it's been a while since I've been to a Books Kino Kunia and I feel like every time I come, they always change the layout. Um, I do remember the Gumplas being here last time, but when you enter, there are a bunch of figures now and I found some quintessential quintuplets figures and Mitsuri figures, uh, everything like catered specifically to me. These are all of my favorite uh, waifu characters. So yeah, pretty cool here at the front. They also had this pretty cool Sasuke figure, but uh, when you come to Books Kino Kuniya, you definitely don't want to be buying figures here. They're pretty overpriced as compared to something like Ami Ami or something like that. I mean, just look at this plushy Anya figure. This thing goes for $43.99. I have no clue why it's going for this much. Uh, I thought it was an error, but when I looked at some of the prices for some of these other little plushy type thingies, they were pretty ridiculous too. I mean, this one's $12.99, not as bad as the uh, Anya, but still pretty pricey for those little keychain type um, uh, plushy figures. Uh, they did have some play mats, which I thought was pretty cool. Unfortunately, it seemed to be all Genshin Impact, so nothing that I'd be interested in getting. But I do like my play mats for when I go play Pokemon. So I did have a look through these, but no, nothing that caught my eye. Uh, and then I did find this Hunter x Hunter mag, which I recorded as I was in Books Kino Kunia. And uh, you guys will see why I'm laughing later. Just keep watching the video. But uh, they also had some Boy and the Heron merchandise here some art books i did actually just finish watching this one this past week and it was pretty good not my favorite miyazaki film but uh, i did enjoy it i did have a good time with it for what it was um so yeah definitely recommend it if you guys like uh studio ghibli films and one thing i definitely don't ever remember seeing here at kino Kuniya is pokemon cards and they had quite a few things here they even had this uh a league battle deck which is pretty good this palkia deck not bad so pretty cool that they do have some pokemon stuff here uh, and then i did get to this shelf right here and i noticed that they had a bunch of these exclusive final volumes of attack on titan i remember when these things came out a long time ago and it looks like they have like some sort of reprint or something i wish books a million reprinted there that's the last volume that i'm missing uh, but going into some art books they had some cool stuff here some stuff that i wanted to pick up for myself but uh this one in particular was something that i was eyeing for chris because he does love black lagoon but as i was in the store i saw some of his videos and he already had these so don't need to pick these up for him but man just flipping through the pages this these art books are pretty damn good i kind of wanted to pick one up for myself but i haven't seen the series so i didn't pick one up for myself but man those, that, that art book was nice i also ran into an oshinoko art book which i think was new because they had a bunch of these on display um 
And I thought it was pretty cool. There was an image there with Kaguya-sama, which I've heard that she's actually in the series, like hidden in the background, which is very, very cool. Uh, then I found this one, which I know Mommy Weeb probably would love this art book. I don't know if she already has it, but uh, yeah, Daddy Weeb, you definitely need to get her that for Christmas. Uh, then we found some more video game art books, which I know Chris loves video games. So I was just looking through all of them. I even found this Spy Family art book. Um, but just looking at those prices, we did set a limit for this uh, gift exchange. And while I usually do go over a little bit, if I had just picked up one of these art books, I would be like way over the limit. So I didn't end up getting an art book. But I did get one of these neighborhood story manga. This is the manga that uh, my friend from Norway requested that I buy for her. So picked one of those up. Looked really nice. It looks kind of reminds me of the art style of Nana, which... I have a feeling that they might be the same mangaka, I'm not too sure. Uh, but I did eventually find Konosuba, which is the manga that Chris requested. So I ended up picking up the first three volumes. I just feel like three volumes is a good amount to get so that they're occupied with reading for at least a few days if they don't binge it all in a few hours. Uh, but that was it for Books Kino Kuni. I did end up going to another shop nearby and they had some cool stuff here. They had some uh, like Gumpla type stuff and I found this really cool mini gumpla figure and as soon as i saw it for that price i was like i had to get it for chris this looks super cool at the time i wasn't even sure if he was into gumpla but i did end up watching some of his youtube videos and apparently he has built some of these gumpla figures in the past so I'm glad that i ended up getting that for him i also went to the snack section and i picked out a bunch of snacks uh he told us to have fun with it so i ended up getting him some pretty cool snacks you guys will have to go and check out his video so that you guys can see which snacks i got him All right, just got done shopping. Um, this is one of the things that I got Chris. I wanted to try it because it looked good. I just got him things that I thought looked pretty good. If you guys wanna see everything that I got him, make sure to go check out his video. I'll link it down below if it is uploaded already. But this is one of the things that I got him and it's pretty good. I like it. It's not too salty, but it's good. I think it's good at least, so. Hopefully, Chris, if you're watching this, I hope you like the, the little snacks that I got you. I also got you a little mini Gundam figure that I thought was really cool looking. Um, I don't even know if you're into Gundam, but it looked cool. And I think you are, if I remember, I think you had some Gundam manga or at least a Gundam figure. So, again, hope you like it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm done shopping for Chris now. I'm going to go home, wrap it all up and ship it out. So I'll see you guys in a bit. 2,000 years later. Okay, so unfortunately I wasn't able to film me uh, putting this all together into the package. Um, nothing too special. I didn't get any Christmas wrap. Um, I was in a time crunch again, so I just put everything in a box. I didn't even get a postcard, so I wrote a letter to Chris um, in some printer paper. Hope that's all right, Chris. Hopefully you still enjoy everything inside this box. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. So if you guys want to check out what I got, Chris, make sure to go check out his video. Again, I will link it in the description down below so you guys can check it out or even up here on the top right hand corner. So um, I'm actually on my way to my second Pokemon TCG regionals. It's at San Antonio, so I'm taking a little bit of a road trip. And during that trip, uh, I just stopped at this random uh, USPS because I need to ship this out this week and I knew if I didn't take this with me I wouldn't ship it out until I get back on Sunday and it wouldn't ship out till Monday so I uh, yeah I needed to get this shipped out today so yeah just wanted to give you guys the full story um I'll see you guys in a bit so that I can open up my package all right guys so it's Christmas morning and I got the package from my secret santa and and i had a feeling this was going to be my secret santa i don't know why as soon as i knew he was on the other bracket i don't know i just had a feeling that i was going to get uh leroy man as my secret santa and for those of you who don't know leroy man i have 
collaborated with him a few times he does have a figure channel so i connected with him through the figure community but he does uh, collect a little bit of manga and trading cards as well so pretty much everything that i collect uh so uh very glad that i got him let's see what he got me in this package but before we get into this box uh, I also did get a letter from Mayubes, another great manga tuber and just a great person in general. She's just awesome. Um, I love just hanging out with her, playing video games with her. She's been a pretty good friend that I've made through the manga tube community. And so she did send me a letter. So we're going to get through this first and then we'll get into the package. So uh, let's go ahead and see what she sent us here. Ooh, already I, I like what I see here. Oh, okay. So, so I got a scratch off. So let's see if we can get lucky with that. And then she did send this really cool uh, like custom card. Like she literally made this out of cardboard and just like images and just cut them up and glued them together. But it's really cool. I really do like this card. Definitely gonna add this to my shelves. You guys know whenever I get cards from uh, um, other people in the manga tube community or I always like to display these type of things on my shelves. Uh, let's go ahead and read it here. Merry Xmas. Okay, so I think it's fine to read. It says, wishing you growth and success on your YouTube channel. Thank you for hosting The Secret Santa again. It's always fun. Sincerely, Mayuwe. Uh, and yeah, it wasn't just me, it was Prof Otaku, but thank you Mayube, I do appreciate you sending this card, it looks really cool, you did an awesome job with this. I'm not going to scratch this off on screen, but I will scratch it off screen and I'll let you guys know if I want anything here on the screen. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into Leroy Man's package now. Uh, by the way, it is literally Christmas morning, so I'm opening this up on the perfect day. I did wait until Christmas day to open this. Honestly, I just, this, this was a, the time that I had to film it. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay. So he did do really nice packaging. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have time to wrap my gifts. So, so sorry, Mangam and Chris, that I wasn't able to wrap things up nicely for you. Uh, and then he did send a card here as well. We're gonna read this first. He actually typed it up and everything. I just wrote mine with my awful handwriting. So hopefully, Mangam and Chris, you could read my handwriting. Uh, but this says dear elite collector as fate would have it i was selected to be your secret santa thanks again for including me this year you have been a great friend to me here on youtube i think you are doing great and hope you continue to succeed i wish you a merry christmas happy holidays i hope that you enjoy your goodies sincerely sincerely leroy man all right man thank you and i hope you have a merry christmas as well and that you do well with your youtube channel moving forward uh so let's go ahead and get into this uh we have three three little wrapped up things we have this we have a box this one intrigues me because it's like feels like a stuffed animal like a plushie of sorts and then we have uh this bigger one so i'm gonna start off with this one because this one intrigues me the most oh okay i've always wanted one of these this is actually pretty cool it's like one of those uh, frog wallets that Naruto carries around in the series. So this is really cool. Uh, I could even use this as like a dice bag. I've seen people use this actually as a dice bag for like the Pokemon TCG. So I could use it for that because he did send me two of them. So I could use one for change, the other one for dice. So that's really cool. Love Loving this package so far. Uh, and then we got two other ones. I honestly don't know what this is from. So there's two other plushies here. It says Anime Palace. So I'm assuming they're from some sort of anime, but I'm just not too sure right now. I'm gonna, you're gonna have to let me know, Leroy Man, where, where these are from, but they are, but they are cute. So I'm sure Aizen will at least have fun with one of these. And he loves keychains, so I'll probably put one of these in his backpack and for him to play around with. So that was the first one. I was correct in that it was a plushie of sorts. Uh, into the next box, we'll save the biggest one for last and we'll get into this one now what we have in here Ooh, i always eye this mug whenever i go to like uh they have these like at barnes and noble and spencers and stuff like that and i do love me some mugs so i'm super happy about this uh hunter x hunter mug it has uh gone on one side kiliwa on the other and yeah this is just awesome so i'm glad i finally got this mug because i always eye it whenever i go to to shop so Thank you so much for this one, Lero Man. Very happy with this, everything you've gotten me so far. So uh, I'm already happy with that. I would be good with that. But there is one more bigger package here. So let's see what's in here. One. I think there is going to be some manga in here because it does. It is a little bit heavier. It definitely feels like some manga. I wonder what he. Oh, okay. Oh, and okay. 
So I was curious. I was, I was curious if he was actually gonna send me some Pokemon cards because in the like form that we filled out for the Secret Santa to help them out, uh, it said, what, did, what do you want? And for that one, I literally put Pokemon cards because I've been collecting a lot of this recently and he got me some. So that's cool. We're definitely gonna open that up on screen. But for the manga, he did get me Shed That Skin, Ryagasaki-san, which I have actually read this one in the past. I think I even did one of my, like the few reviews or like one volume one reviews that I did on my channel a long time ago. And I guess he didn't do his homework because I wasn't a big fan of this one when I did read it. He didn't sold this one off, but because he did get this one as a gift for me, I am gonna just keep this one in my collection along with the other uh, manga that I've gotten as gifts. So thank you so much, Leroy Man, for this one. And also, uh, of course, for uh, the one that I asked for because uh, there was also a question, which is well, what was a manga that you will probably never get for yourself, but would like to get? And you guys know if you guys have seen my shopping blogs whenever I go to Barnes & Noble, I always eye the Chobits hardcovers because I just think they look beautiful and it does definitely look beautiful. So I'm gonna give this omnibus a read and see if I will enjoy it. I just don't know if I will enjoy it, which is why I never picked it up. But since it was gifted to me by Leroy Man, I'm finally gonna give it a shot. And if I enjoy it, I'll pick up the rest and have these, these beautiful hardcovers in my collection. So thank you, Leroy Man, for finally helping me add this one to my collection. Uh, probably gonna read that one here this morning, but uh, let's go ahead and open the Pokemon cards and see what we can pull here. All right, so it's three packs of Paradox Rift, the newest set from Pokemon. Uh, this is probably my favorite set from the Scarlet and Violet era so far. Uh, so many great cards and I haven't completed the set so let's see if we can pull one of the four cards I only need four more cards to complete this set so let's see what we can get here and nothing here but we did get a screen tell which is a pretty good card uh, pretty good competitive card so glad to pull that one uh, nothing else let's go to the next pack and I'm just gonna show you guys what I pull from them Oh, okay, we did get a hit here. We got a Bombardier EX. That is our first pool. We got a Cloth, which surprisingly, there is a pretty good deck out there that uses this card. So I do like the fact that I pulled that one. And then we also got a Luxurious Cape, which is a good uh, tool card, which adds 100 HP to Pokemon that don't have roll boxes, but you do give up an extra prize. So those are three cards that are pretty useful there uh, that I would definitely put into my, my deck building cases. And then the last pack, let's see if we can get that Roaring Moon EX. And no, we didn't get it, but we did get a, whoops. But we did get a Jirachi Reverse Hollow, um, which is very good against Lost Box, which I hate Lost Box. So definitely need the, one of these in almost every deck out there right now. So well, that's everything that I got from Leroy Man. Awesome gift, super happy with everything that you got me. An awesome job getting gifts for me, which I feel like I'm kind of hard to get gifts for, but I don't know, not really, because I'm happy with pretty much anything that you get me, but I'm definitely gonna go use this right now and eat some cookies with milk uh, just to use this mug right now. So uh, thank you, Leroy Man, and thanks again to everybody that participated. I hope everybody had a blast, and hopefully we can continue to do this in year, for years to come, even if MangaTube does uh, die off because people are saying that it's dying right now and people are not getting much views, but who cares? We still built a community we, even outside of YouTube on Instagram, and I think we'll always be in touch and hopefully we can continue to do this for years to come, like I've mentioned. So if anybody has gotten to this point, Merry Christmas. Hope you guys had an awesome Christmas. Let me know what you guys got as gifts in the comment section down below and hope you guys have a happy new year as well. And I think that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.